Hey, hey, guess who went shopping? Good morning. Welcome to my take at the lake. It's care. We're in the midst of a nice big storm today, so you might hear the wind howling through the windows, which is kind of awesome. What better way to spend the day than at least part of the day than playing with some new toys? Very excited. Normally I try to keep my videos around 30 minutes or less. However, I've, as you can see, I have quite a haul here this morning. I have a truckload of treasures to share with you, so it might be a little bit longer. The haul videos kind of tend to be sometimes because I go a little crazy at St. Vinny's. Um, so pull up a comfy chair, get yourself something scrumptious to drink and sit down and let's share some cool stuff. Where to start? I suppose, start where you're at. So we'll start right here in the middle of the, well, I'll start here and then I'll make myself some room. These are old encyclopedias by Golden Press. And they are high school encyclopedias from 1961. And my grandma had a similar set. This isn't exactly the set, but it was very similar to this. And uh, I used to play school when I was a kid. <coughs> Teacher from day one. I was either the student or the teacher, or sometimes I played both parts, but I would use these encyclopedias to teach when I played school when I was little. And they've got such beautiful illustrations. Look at all the fussy cutting that can be done. Um, nice vintage photos, beautiful illustrations, maps, flags. Um, there's postage stamps, there's critters, um, historical monuments. It's just an absolute treasure trove. Looky here, Pam would go crazy with all the mushrooms that the Pam at the Paper Outpost has a thing for mushrooms. Look at all those beautiful fungi. Music. Um, just, like I said, a treasure trove of goodies in each book beautiful map, beautiful road runner. So I bought, they only had four of them. Um, so I got all four and I won't flip through all of them, but I've got volumes 12, 14, 17, and 19. But look how fun. I mean, they're just fun, fun books. And not only for the junk journal treasures, but just for me uh, personally to go down this memory lane. Look how pretty. I'm not big into birds myself. I know they're popular in the junk journaling world. Um, not a big bird fan, except for chickadees. I love chickadees. Yep, stay on topic. Focus. Stay focused. Anyway, I bought all four of those. Each one of them was a whopping $1 worth every penny considering how much vintage ephemera I can make with those old pages that uh, classic old information and all of those beautiful pictures and illustrations. Fussy cut until my fingers fall off. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. This next stack is all about uh, cutting out these are all things that can be cut out and used. This one is a little learn. Little learning is a dangerous thing. A treasury of wise, witty observations for students, teachers, and other survivors of higher education. Again, for my teaching self, this is a beautiful thing, and it's all just quotes um, on education, methodology of teaching, student attitudes, teachers, um, plus all these cute little silhouettes that could be certainly used for 
<clears throat> little clusters the the focus image focal image on little clusters they could make beautiful little stamps with the right stamp or um, pattern scissors cute little illustrations so again if you watch my other video hauls um excuse me my other yeah haul videos i guess i um it's early i'm oh, sorry <laughs> just getting my wits about me um if you watch any of my other haul videos i i try to look at stuff <clears throat> at St. Vinny's so I don't buy everything. Um, is there at least more than one or two uses for the item? Of course the encyclopedia I can make journal cards. I can make beautiful corner tucks or tuck, tuck pockets and the the decorative uses, decorative decoration, the use for decor from those books is immeasurable. I think there's just so many ways to use it. So that was a no brainer. The quotes in there, in this uh, little quote book, the quotes in here, the illustrations, um, again, can be used for multiple things. And if you spent more than three minutes with me, you know I am a dog crazy person, crazy for dogs. And so anytime I find something about dogs, I pick it up. Um, sometimes I keep it just as a beautiful book about dogs. Other times I use the pictures depending on, depending on what it is, I guess. I'm not sure what I'll do with this, but it, oh, look how just so beautiful is little tree stump legs. Look at those little tree stumps. Oh, dogs are just magic. So... You know, just looking at the pictures and getting that giggle was worth, I think it was their 50 cents. If they're not marked otherwise, they're 50 cents. Making a book for my mom. And it has a lot of roses featured in it. And um, this has beautiful illustrations. I guess just one over and over again. Oh, there's a different one. Um, with some beautiful quotes. So I will dissect this and um, use it for my mom, my mom's book. Uh, when I was making my, or gathering the supplies to make my Christmas altered book, I really wanted a copy of A Christmas Carol so that all the text in the background of the tags or journal cards or whatever it was I was making, I wanted it to be from a Christmas Carol, but I, I did not have the heart to dissect any of my books. But I found this for 50 cents yesterday at St. Vincent's. Oh look, a library card holder. <laughs> Bonus, freebie. Maddie checked this out once. Anyway, so now I have it, so I can put this in. I did not finish my book, I didn't even get it started. I just gathered all the material for it, but that is, what they make next year for, or this year, I guess, you know, Christmas is in 300 and some days now, right? This one's a Blue Day book. Uh, I used to have this, I don't know what I do with it, but beautiful pictures of animals. Um, after the love of dogs is the love of all animals. Uh, for me, I like animals way more than I like people. Uh, lots of funny little quotes and beautiful little pictures. Um, so again, just the the warm fuzzy factor of this book and that it, it's not mine so I don't feel bad about tearing it up if I well it's mine now but it's not the one that was given to me as a gift funny how that works isn't it I won't I won't cut up my own books but I'll go buy books to cut up whatever another uh, quotable book with beautiful illustrations look at that cover lots and lots of information and uh, quotes about friendship and little stories. So these um, these little stories, I think, could be used, you know, as a mini book. Put them in a mini journal and tuck it into a regular journal. Gorgeous illustrations. Again, I'm not a big butterfly fan, but I know they're very popular. So, um, and my mom loves butterflies, so I'll probably put some in her book as well. But look at the, the pepper plants. So, so pretty. For 50 cents, you just can't beat it. 
I, I got this one. Um, I, I love how I love how old some of these are. Not terribly old, 1972. For some of you, that's ancient. I was born, so it's not that old. <laughs> um, what I got this one for <clears throat> is these miniature book pages, book, miniature music pages. They're so tiny. Um, and I just think it's a really good fit for the smaller books. You know, um, for example, these um, smaller Reader's Digest, it's, it's not a big book comparatively to some of the journals that we make. Um, so these little little music sheets, I think, are, are grand. Um, plus, it had some really neat pictures, some old pictures. Um, and I like how complicated the music is. I, I try to get music that looks like music rather than play school, romp a room, learn how to play music, music, if that makes any sense at all. <sighs> oh, and it, it has that, sorry. Here, get a close up, has that old book smell. Mm, I love that. This is pretty cool. Um, it looks nasty, but that's, that's the design of it. It's actually a clean book, it's not dirty. <laughs> But it's made to look that way, which is so fun. This is going to be awesome art. And might go in my uh, black and white and red all, red all over journal. That I I just did a video on that uh, a couple days ago. So hopefully it's out there and you can, if it's available, I'll link it below. I record a lot and then I edit for a while. And so things I record today might not get posted for weeks. But, you know... You gotta roll with what works for you, right? Anyway, this book not only had this great cover, which that alone, I would have picked it up. Would I have bought it just for that cover? I don't think so, because um, it's just one-time use. However, there's all these great chapter art and chapter titles, um, more great quotes, if you wanted to do a playing card, which I think would be a neat theme. Uh, by the way, I started a new series, if you haven't checked it out yet, New Theme Thursdays. Um, just playing cards. They're so beautiful and so interesting. And you could do so many things with it. Doing a, a playing card themed journal would be awesome. Just filled with different kinds of playing cards or taking one deck and making it work throughout the journal. Uh, you could also spin that off into um, me and my Grammy used to play gin rummy all the time. <clears throat> so we, I could do just a gin rummy um, themed journal uh, in honor of my, my grandma. Um, but beautiful illustration. So again, there's quotes, there's small art, there's large art, and then this great cover. So for 50 cents, that is now a no brainer. This great big one was 50 cents as well, National Geographic, an uncommon history of common things. Um, beautiful things to fussy cuts. Um, and interesting information. This is all kinds of cool trivia. I mean, there's how fun, how did the zipper start? Where did we get safety pins? Um, I just think this is gonna be not only fun to read but when I'm done checking it out I have beautiful things like this shoe I'm obsessed with these kinds of shoes I love them um, so that'll go in my personal glue book that that'll be my part of my shoe collection um, so again lots of fussy cutting to be used I'm making a, a patriotic book for my dad um, so I will probably use a lot of not just the flag but since this ends right here, this whole page might be something I tuck into it for him. Uh, just all kinds of cool things in here for 50 cents. Can't beat it. And endless, endless, endless um, fussy cutting. Again, like fussy cut till my fingers fall off. I don't remember, but recently I was reading something online about Robin Williams uh, design workshop and I thought oh I'd like to take that or buy that or know more about that and lo and behold the universe listened and this was just laying randomly on an empty 
table. Someone must have picked it up and tossed it there. Um, and holy smokes, this one was 50 cents as well. Um, so it certainly help with design, um, graphic design, design layout. That is always helpful when you're doing journals or any sort of, whether you're designing the layout of your living room or uh, the layout of a poster or the layout of a page or a journal card, all of this stuff comes in handy. Um, and there's just tons of beautiful things in here. Fun clip art, um, great, nice big words to use, um, more illustrations. Oh look, dogs. Sold! I'm doing a few um, hunter lodgy type of journals for the men in my family. And this Moose Country book uh, just plays perfectly well into it. Look at these beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um, and there's information I might be able to cut out some. And just in general, just beautiful. This would make such a nice um, maybe end paper or cover for a, a signature. So beautiful. And I just saw um, nice big words again. So again, a number of uses for this book. Um, I know the guys would just love that in their journal. They're not getting journals, they're getting altered books where they can tuck stuff in. And very much in line with the rest of the, the last few that I just showed you. Um, many, many beautiful pictures and tidbits of information and illustrations to be fussy cut. And um, I have a lot of themes um, that I'm collecting information for. And um, right now I think I've got about 35 going. Started out as three or four and then it was five or six and I think I'm up to 35 or 40. But um, Many of the pictures in here work for several different themes. So, again, for 50 cents, I couldn't turn it down. So many crazy things in here. Marilyn, look how beautiful. Marilyn. Okay, so those are all the ones that I, or no, I'm sorry, here's one more. I lied. One more similar thing. So many beautiful papers. Um, pictures, images to be either, this would make a beautiful journal card all by itself, just like that, or it could be fussy cut for sure. Um, just the imagery is so pretty. Ooh, there's the wind howling. Can you hear it? More big letters. So pretty. And there's a little bit of everything. There's critters and interiors and exteriors and scenery and food and dogs and words and little tiny clip art and all kinds of things to, to play with. I don't have to ever leave the house again. I don't think I have so much here to play with. Sorry about the camera moving. Apparently the, the stack of books was helping with that. Uh, last of the books here, sometimes the books um, don't have anything necessarily to do with junk journaling. Uh, th these two I found um, tucked away under a, under a bookshelf. <laughs> Clearly someone was hiding them for later, but I found them, so they're mine. Uh, 49 cents a piece. Look at the... the it looks like veining almost um, on these on the paper edge. So pretty. Um, they are, I think, from 1934. 1934. It's part of the new standard encyclopedia. I have volume seven and volume three, I believe. Very beautiful illustrations, um, maps, old maps, pictures. 
nests. Ew, creepy. All kinds of good things. Um, I looked on eBay and these go for $20. So I will probably list it and see if I can make my dollar back. Uh, list them as a, I don't know, as one or two. I'm not even sure. I hate eBay, so I can't even believe I'm saying that. But if I can sell them for $20, I will. If they don't sell in a timely fashion, well, then they will become fodder for my junk journaling habit. I'll either cut them up or use them as glue books or find some other cool way to use them if they don't sell. So that's not necessarily for junk journaling, but it could be. Um, I used to teach about when I taught uh, English and writing courses. Um, I used to teach about this uh, bath massacre and I always pose the question, when you think of school violence or um, mass bombing or suicide bombing, you know, what's the first thing you think about? And usually the students, because they're of that age, would say Columbine, you know, and in the 90s when we saw a lot of people quote, going postal, unquote, and uh, um, suicide bombs and those kind of things. Um, but the Bath School Massacre happened in 1927. And I used to teach this because, of course, people never heard of it. Uh, and another thing, I'm in Michigan and this happened in Michigan. And uh, I want to say, I want to make sure I have my date right. It was 1927 before I... Yeah, 1927. Uh, a man not too happy with new taxes killed his wife, put all his animals in his barn, set his barn on fire, filled his car with, spoiler alert here, filled his car with all kinds of metal, nails and drill bits and, and grinding materials and sh sharp metal scraps and just filled his car, made it a bomb and drove it to the school and blew up the school and himself because he was not happy with taxes. 18, excuse me, 1927. 1927, right there, that's when it happened. So, and people being upset with the government and blowing themselves and everything they own up and killing people just to make a point, there's nothing new is the point of that. You'd think I was a gun and, 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 and uh, violent person but I'm not I don't care about guns my uncle is a big collector so I got this for him um this one was a little more expensive it was two dollars and 99 cents oh my but it's in pristine shape and it's a 23 dollar book and he will love it and so for three dollars might as well make his day right just never know what you're gonna find holy smokes look at that gun handle get oh my god the whole gun is decorated wow Smith and Wesson, they talented. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I am into true crime now. Um, true crime, more on that's coming soon. Stay tuned. Very excited about that. My niece is becoming a massage therapist, and I figure all information is good information. So I got this book for 50 cents for her, for her schooling. She's going to be a beautiful book, pristine condition. So you find a lot of cool gifts. And it's fun to just surprise someone. Here, I picked this up for you. I thought you'd like it. Bought this one for myself. Big surprise, all about dogs. So many beautiful pictures. <clears throat> so beautiful. Dogs are just amazing to me. Look at that face. How can you not smile at that face? So this one will probably just become one of my coffee table books out in the living room where I can just peruse it. Oh my goodness. So cute. Anyway, mm, this one was a dollar. Don't tell anyone. I got a few little goodies. Uh, you gotta watch every now and again. I just looked at Walmart and three by five blank index cards are 48 cents. I'm hoping, even though these are these are Walmart, I'm hoping they're a little bit older because it's a different, um, it's not pen and gear, it's earlier than that. And so I'm, and it, I'm hoping they're older, but who cares? It's one less thing I have to buy at Walmart. 
um, some beautiful material. Uh, I also got, I can't believe how much money I spent at St. Vincent's yesterday. I've never spent that much, but I am making a whole bunch of snuffle mat, snuffle balls, and interactive toys for my Boston's. And um, if you want to know more on that and see that haul, uh, that part of the haul, uh, that's on my, my channel for the Boston's. They have their own channel. I will link that below. Um, but this, of course, is for my journals. Make a beautiful cover. Um, I'm making a, a book right now for my aunt, and I think this will be its cover because it just it just screams her name. Um, my grandma, my aunt's mom, used to make Barbie clothes, and I couldn't find any Barbie. This was as close as I could find, um, but I'm gonna use this in honor of grandma in my aunt's journal. I'm going to take the idea from Pam. She gets the Tim Holtz pads and attaches them to wooden spools to make daubers because these daubers are about $3.50 a piece, uh, the regular dauber daubers, but she just puts them on wooden spools. And look, just wooden spools for $1.50. Can't beat it. For Mom's Rose Journal, they're... Um, charms that'll probably go on clips and tabs and so that'll probably be all the tabs hanging off the end so she'll have a half dozen roses in her book very cool buck 50. I've never seen anything like that so that's pretty cool little tiny rope again for my masculine journals uh, the lodgy lakey nautical rope guys love rope right this is beautiful. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's just the most beautiful purple, wispy purple color, like a light lilac. I just love it. I'm not sure what to do with that, but I'll figure it out. I guess I have a few more books here. I see a lot of people using these Reader's Digest for journals, and I'm going to have to go rewatch some of the videos because I I guess I wasn't paying attention, but um, I wonder why they're so popular. Is it because the covers are already pretty well done for you? You just have to do something with this. Um, is it the is it the shape of it? I'm not sure why they're so popular, but my Saint Vincent's had a truckload of them, so I just picked up two to play with. Because um, I'm sure once I watch the videos, I'll want to do it, so I might as well get them now. Wow while the getting is good. Um, lake colors. So they'll probably be lake journals eventually. But I prefer this size because I'm a lazy junk journaler. I like to take eight and a half by 11 paper, fold it in half and have it fit. Oh, this one's gonna be too small. I thought I could eye it by now. Ugh! But that means I have to trim it and that I have to trim all the way around. See how it's sticking out there? Let me take this off. That's no good. I like book book covers that I can just fold the piece of paper and have it fit in beautifully. That is my goal. So all of these, I thought, I thought, I measured and everything. But didn't do very good, did I? Because look how much I would have to trim. Ugh. Foiled, foiled again. Anyway. So, um, that's why I'm kind of confused at this. Because clearly these are way smaller. And so you got to do a lot of trimming. To make that work. So, I don't know. So, I have a few things that I'm not sure what to do with. My... My family likes to read these kind of books, so I'll just send those along and have them read them. And the purple one would make a pretty um, altered book. So that's all right, I suppose. That is my St. Vinny's Hall. That's all my used stuff. And since I didn't go nearly as long as I thought, I'm just going to do... I also did a quick Walmart run, and usually I separate them to two videos, but 
I'll just do it real quick now. I love getting a ream of paper. It's four bucks and there's so much fun in here. Uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost just did a really fun um, spray stencil video. Um, get your rubber gloves out, put some plastic sheeting down, get out your, your alcohol dyes or your spray inks or your put some watercolor in spray bottles and add water and, or coffee and get all your stencils out, lay your stencils down and spray it. It could not be more easy. And then you've got all kinds of beautiful background pages. Easy, simple, fast, and you're ready to grab and go to work. Um, or gel plate printing. Um, again, just spend an afternoon just, just printing away. 500 sheets. You could just print your little heart out. For $4, you can't go wrong. And then you've got all these beautiful papers to play with later on when you're ready to go back to making journals. So I try to pick one up all oh, every other time I go. So I always have paper. I know pa Pam buys it by the case. I'm not making journals like she is. She makes them. She's almost a production factory, that lady. These are um, steampunk sort of buttons. They're cogs and gears. And I've been looking for an excuse to buy them. Even though I don't do a lot of steampunk stuff, I love these buttons. Um, and then these are clocks, also very big in the steampunk world. Um, these are buttons. I, you have to cut them off or sew them on the front of the journal or something, but you can trim those little bits off. But I have a... A sweater that doesn't have any buttons and I want it to have buttons and so it's going to have very cool buttons and then I can play with what's left over. I can rationalize almost anything. Yes, I can. Ooh, there goes that wind. Just a whistling. Oh, I love a good storm. I love a good storm, especially staying home in it. Love staying home in the storm. Do not have to leave the house today or tomorrow, and that is a beautiful thing. So these were on clearance they, at Meyer. They were seven dollars. I got them for three at Walmart, and those could always come in handy. Writing your journal stuff. Um, I liked the colors. I wish it had a black one, but for three bucks, I guess I can't complain. Some new tools. I have these, um, but this is old and it's not as sharp as it used to be. And I can't find these two. And I've been looking and looking and so I, I said, screw it, I'll get another set. So that did, that will ensure the other two turn up probably today or tomorrow somewhere. Some pretty color of embroidery thread. Um, I wax it and I use this to sew <clears throat> my signatures. Uh, based on the color paper that I'm using or the theme of the journal. These are gonna, this is for the guy's journal. It's gonna be lots of hunter green and lodgy dark. And I just, just so I never run out. And these are always fun little quickies to add to my niece's Zen journal. These are for me actually, they're for my calendar. When I do my 30 minute walk or workout, I get a flower on the calendar. Two of those for me. I'm not much into cartoony and babyish things, but I could not resist these teeny tiny little bones. Oh my god, they're so cute. And the, the dogs are cute, and that's a Boston, so I had to have them. You know, for a dollar, this kind of joy, for a dollar, oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna do a lot of walking. Yes, I am. And my niece, who's doing the massage therapy school, is also in the owls. And they just bought a bus. They are redoing a bus and moving into it and traveling the world. And I think, well, traveling the country. Um, she loves to camp. She's very cool. So these are for her book. Just little things to pop in. And if I don't use them all, I'll just tuck them in. And she can stick them wherever she wants to stick them. I had big fun yesterday. Um, you know, part of junk journaling or any hobby, I think, any collection, anything that we do, I think part of the, the fun of it is the thrill of the hunt. You know, hunting down these, these treasures and um, 
yeah, it's money spent, but sometimes you just gotta spend money on some fun stuff. Sometimes you just have to play and have that be okay. Um, you know, so if you're feeling blue, you know, take ten dollars and see see what you can find at the at the second hand store or go to Dollar Tree. They've got tons of they're getting more and more all the time, beautiful stickers and and fun stencils and you know, a little pick me up toy never hurt. We didn't do too bad. I thought this was gonna be a long one and it is, it's a little longer than I'd like. Uh, I thank you very much for your patience. I hope that you can find some goodies and I hope that this stuff sparks some ideas for you. I'm always kind of bummed because I see something on a haul video that, oh, I want that one. But just be open to what the universe is gonna drop at your feet um, because it's that's the fun stuff, the surprise stuff and then figure out how you can use it. For me, that's part of the fun, you know, is trying to figure out, trying to rationalize how many ways can I make use of this one thing? Does it meet that criteria? Can I, can I justify this? Well, yes, I can. I can justify almost anything as we have covered. P.S. Don't forget to save your tags and your, your packaging. Um, you can either pull this paper off and have this pretty, pretty design or use this as a card of some sort. Um, nice, heavy. This would make two beautiful journal cards or it's the right length for a good bookmark or three, maybe four. Um, so don't forget to save your packaging. Uh, even these have this nice little um, backing. So it, you could fold it up. This would make a nice uh, cover uh, for little concertina concertina booklets um who knows so don't forget to save your packaging and these um cellophane envelopes make great little glassine bags or windows um or the little slide um fake slide presentation slide specimen slides i think i'm trying to say um, that's so popular in the uh, steampunky, sciency, nature, field notes kind of journals. Uh, so there's lots of possibility, not only with the stickers, but the packaging and the backing. So don't forget to save all that stuff too, because, you know, it is, after all, junk journaling. Same thing here. This card, this little envelope. I will save all of that um, to play with. Yes, indeed. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. And if it's storming where you are, I hope you get to stay in, have another cup of something warm to drink, and we'll meet back here again soon. Take care. My Take at the Lake, out for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see here, please show it some love. Chat it up in the comments below. Hit subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Take care.